We used to sit, we used to stand outside for months. It was all of us skin, about seven of us. And Cos was jumping up and down on a on a slab on the floor. I was like, what are you doing? I said, fuck, I just must put a window through. I went, all right, gone in. It was eight o'clock at night and a Sunday, it was Saturday or Sunday. Picked the slab up, threw it straight through the window. We all ran through. I've grabbed the fucking the a whole rack of puffer jackets, which I thought were puffer jackets, but they weren't. I ran up the road, got Shane's um, 33, took a whole mannequin with the jacket on and everything, Louis Vuitton, ran up the road with a whole mannequin. You got Cos took a big thing. It was, just, it was mayhem. We all ran up the back way to Clapham, got on the train, and the train was stalling. Like, we got halfway through that three stops, and the train was stalling. I could think, again, it's coming on top, yeah, mate. It's coming on top. Killer Keller Official dot com. <laughs> Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Let's go. Let's have some trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast. Here we go again. It's another day, another week, another time, another place, wherever you are. I hope you're enjoying it, doing whatever you're doing in the sun. It's pretty fucking wet out there. The sun. <laughs> so global warming. Make sure you put your sunscreen on and get ready for this global warming, sweetheart. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Big shout out to all the players and people that have been sharing and caring. Anyone has got the television app, you know what time it is. Free download, iPhone, Android. I'm going to cut to the chase because my brother, he isn't the first time of being in here. This man has got more history uh, that deserves further investigation more deep diving um, part of the original FDC collective that came and onslaught who took full advantage of their positions across south and beyond this gentleman has been moving and shaking with some of the best for many a year and uh, soon on moving forward to progressing into comedy into acting into uh, <laughs> more mischief than uh, one podcast can hold ciao FDC anyway listen if you throw enough shit at the wall something's got to stick in it <laughs> To give every a bash. You know what I mean? It's yeah. easier. That's right. And also... If you do that, you go, do you know what do? Can you do that? You Google it, go, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, I could do that, mate. I could do that. Yeah, easy. Fucking easy. I'll do it all by tomorrow. DJing as well. You're DJing. Oh, fucking easy, mate. I'll type flex. DJ. I could do all that. Everything. Easy. And spitting bars. Easy. That's easy, yeah. Easy. Some of you may remember him from a good couple of podcasts, but this is a friend of the family, you know. Yeah. You know, he, he knows he knows the door number. We don't talk about the door number around here often, uh, but when you've been around here enough, but how are you, my friend? Yeah, good. Yeah, I've been really busy. I've just been. Do you know what it is? Because I get, you know, I have these conversations all the time. Mm. I forget what I tell you. And I go. Mm. So the other day, so you know, I come back on. I was like, I have to remember what I said. I don't want to repeat myself. Mm. So I watched it the other day. I was like, oh my god, I said hardly any of the stories. Mm. I just skipped over. I was in a shop. Got kicked out of a shop. Like. And that was it. And then the, the buses, oh, Nick to bus. It was like, no in depth. We've done that about 20 times. Uh, a, a professional never blames his instruments, but he was sitting here with Tizer on the first one. The second one, he had no excuse. He was here on his own. And even then, he still didn't pull the, the real stories out. No, I've, I've, listen, I've forgotten. There's so many, mate. If you <laughs> fucking know. In the graffiti world, one week is like a year in normal people's life. You're like, oh, yeah, do you done yesterday? I went there, but there. Got there. Oh, I've got a big crate of champs. You got that? What did you get? Oh, b- b- Loads of jackets from the, from the shop around the corner. Normal people going, what did you do yesterday? They go, yeah, went to work, come back, had dinner, and, and Roger dropped me to the to the blockbusters and come back home. Nothing like what we do. <laughs> blockbuster. <laughs> you, do you love do you love the, the nostalgia factor? Do you love the fact because you still you know you're still busy? But do you do you do you look back on certain scenarios that at the time were like super offensive to most people and, and probably the most wildest of uh, ambitions and, and drives? Do you look back at it and think, to yourself, well, actually, maybe I did. I went too far that time. Oh, we all went mental. We were, busy. we were absolutely crazy. Really? Just mental. Like full. It was like graffiti on steroids. This is mental madness. Like setting fire to ticket inspectors' hairs. What? We used to stand around. We used to get these, these um, like from Holland and Barrett's. These would be like little peas, yeah? You can yeah. pea shoot them through the McDonald's straws. Yeah. So what we'd done, we used to nick them from um, Holland and Barrett's. And when the ticket inspector come, he goes, where's your tickets, mate? Where's your tickets, mate? We used to stand around him in a circle and just... <laughs> And ten of us all spit. Every time he's trying to talk to us, where's your ticket? All he's doing is spitting out peas. I'm telling you, he was, he was stung. His face was red to bits. So how did he set his face, her hair on fire? Well, some geezer, I ain't going to say the name, but out with his lighter at the back of his head. His name was Fuzzy, yeah? Because mm. he had a really fuzzy hair. The whole head I've set on fire. Fuzzy, yeah. It must have been the driest hair going. He went, <laughs> I was like, oh, his whole head set on fire. So Poor he, Fuzzy. So he nicked his hat. Really? Yeah, uh, kept it. I, I could have cut the ears. I had kept hair looms. I used, have, I used to have that. <laughs> and I remember once, there was a story, me walking through Clapham Junction, 
through Peabody Estate with a, with a um, shopping cart full of alcohol, champagne, everything, with his hat on, with a charity box, walking through, pushing it through. There we go, Charlie, I'm going home and having a couple of beers. Went, I got on and I just sat there for the whole night, drank everything with all them lot, and bought a draw out of the fucking charity box. Mate, they were the, they were the days, mate. They were the days. <laughs> at this Take point, me back. At this point, I'd just like to <coughs> big shout out Dave. Dave the Rave in the building. How are you doing, Dave? You good? Control. He's, he's the security for, for Shark. Yeah, if, anyone, if anyone kicks off, mate, he'll beat the crap out of your fucking ankles. So, uh, <laughs> like we we're, we're two minds of getting his teeth done in Turkey because the fucking the postman don't like delivering to his door anyway now. So if he fucking does that, he'd just be like, oh, Jack Russell would be like a fucking uncaged animal, wouldn't he, Dave? <laughs> Down, boy. <laughs> but no, this is the this is the lifestyle that Charles Holder now. You know, he's he's moved into some bigger, you know, red carpet business, red movies carpet, and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, normally it's in a sweat box. Now it's red carpet. <laughs> it's up slowly going up. Do you know what I mean? The only time they normally open the door for me is going. Do you want to make your phone call? No, it's like, ah, oh, oh it's you, your son here. See you later, go. Yeah, yeah, let's move on. Hello, Thank hi, you, hi, hi it's me. You might remember me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, Rubbing uh, shoulders and all that. Do you think, yeah, like, if you go on to his, uh, is it IMDB? It's the, it's the, it's yeah, the big... IMBD, BD, yeah, IMBD. I'm a proper comedy now. IMBD. <laughs> BD, yeah. But you've got, like, eight, nine, ten... Thirteen movies I've been 13 in now. Thirteen yeah. movies. And that's not including the gay pornos. <sighs> yeah. It's not even including them. Mm, that's uh, mad to think, isn't it? But do you know what, how mad it is, yeah? It's just like, put your mind to anything, you can do anything. Mm. Listen, I, like I said, if you throw enough shit at the wall, something's got to stick. What do you think? What do you think constitutes someone do you, that, that to be able to uh, apply their skill set? Not even skill set, just their uh, uh, tenaciousness to want to go and do something like that. Like, how, where's that come from, from from you? I don't know. I just can't sit still. It's right every now and then. You like, I think ADHD ain't a, ain't a good. It's, it is a good trait. It's like a superpower, but that just makes you non-stop. Like, oh yeah, I'll do this. I'll do this. You get bored quickly. So oh, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. So if you do a couple of things at a time, if one pops off, mm. you're sweet. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've got a big shout out Nick Nevin and Terry Stone and, and the likes because you know these these people are, the, the moves and shakers within our uh, yeah they've our made the biggest um, of, of, uh, UK um, movie ever, isn't it? Franchise. Yeah. franchise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. Of course it is, yeah. It's opened Epic, the doors yeah. for so many amazing, uh, you know, schools of talent. Yeah, exactly. Of, you know what I mean? Um, and co comedy as well, which is reasonably new for you. But, but yeah, you're, but you're a funny guy. I'll be, yeah, I've been doing it for ages. But I think, yeah. because I go to watch these stand-up comedians and I think, fuck me, they're dog shit. Really? And before he said it, I thought about five jokes he could have said while he was saying that one. I was like, and that's me just drinking the pub and a laugh, going, ah, cracking jokes, yeah. taking a piss out of everyone. I've had more laughs in there than I heard at the... Uh, a comedy night I've gone to, like in Clapham before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, big yeah, yeah Clapham, no. the across the road from... No, no, uh, Junglers, it was years ago. I'm just oh, saying, yeah. I went to that, mm. and it was dead. I was like, oh, okay, no. I think I got thrown out that night. Mm. I think all the graffiti writers were there that night mm. as they go. And me, Cos, Asthma. Yeah, it was, and I was thinking, he's got shit. What are you mm. doing here? I think we ended up having a fight and got kicked out. Normal role. How, do, how, how much of the content that you create for, you know, for those comedy purposes do, do you <coughs> uh, derive from... Your early times in Graf. I'm really intrigued because there must be some really funny moments in Graf where you're just like, oh, I can't really talk about that on stage, mate, but it's mate, fucking hilarious. Mate, there's loads, there's loads. Give of us things. some, give us some fucking, give us some classic moments <laughs> to, where you're just like, I can't believe that's too funny. Do you remember we said this? Uh, the um, asthma got kicked out of his house, yeah? I can't remember what it's, what it's for. And I went, oh, fuck this, I'll, I'll stay with you then. So I thought, oh, fuck it, I'll stay with you. All right? So he moved into, he lived in his travellers, his white geezers with dreadlocks, yeah? Mm -hmm. It was in, was it Richmond or Q Bridge? Q Bridge it was, on this little um, wasteland thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. there, was a, there was a, um, a porter cabin I stayed in. Then there was another one. Then there was a Pickford's lorry that was trans uh, transferred. Um, the trans, uh, they, they changed all the kitchen and <laughs> fit it all out with that, yeah? Mm. So he was living in there. I was living in the other one, and Asper was living with the sheep. So every morning we used to get up, feed the sheep, get free weed off this geezer, nick him records, sell him the records back for free weed, and go nicking all day with him. He used to drive around, he was a vegan. So every used to nick, he'd go, oh, can I have that? He went, nah, mate, can't eat it, it's vegan. So in the end of it, we just kept on nicking him big blocks of cheese and salad <laughs> for the whole time. Really? Like, <laughs> that is, uh, that is, when was that? Like early noughties, late nineties? I mean, this is, no, uh, no. That's the, that was the epitome of veganism back then. No, 90, that, 90, the attitude yeah, that, of people. Yeah, it's, yeah, 90, I can't imagine you being a vegan kind of character. Mate, it was, then he goes, do you want a job, Charles? I went, of course I was living there for months. Living in a month, feeding the, feeding the um, lambs and all that, all the sheep and all that. It was so cold in there one night. It was so cold, but I thought it was burning up. I thought the whole place got set on fire. I was like, ah. I looked down and went, oh, no, I'm just freezing. I was that cold, I felt warm. Yeah, mate. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
<coughs> right? So I stayed there for a couple of months. And um, even, I even had a girlfriend who used to come down there to, in Kew Bridge and all that and lived there with us. Like, it was madness. Really? Yeah, yeah. Were girls like that sort of thing? Of graphers back in, I was 17, 18, I think it was, yeah. do you know what I mean? Girls love graphers, don't they? A bit of rough, love a bit of rough. That's why all the posh girls go for a bit of rough, do you know what I mean? Never seen you short of girls, me. I've always seen you with, with some. They're friends, I mean, mate. I've only got missing. I'm, I'm taken, mate. I'm taken, mate. I'm taken, mate. Yeah. I'm taken, mate. Girl friends. But they, but you know, girls, you know, I mean, girl graph writers, big up all the girl graph writers as well, you yeah. Know? Yeah. But uh, yeah, graph don't hold no prisons. You get, you get a lot of love, innit? Back in the day, you used to, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I said, oh, do you know what I mean? Girls give the right arms out of me, but I just don't get out of girls who are disabled. So that's where I'm going, <laughs> I'm going with that one. <laughs> 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 Told you this was going to be a I, spicy episode. I would do we? anything for love, but I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a voice as well. you got a singing voice, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what's that? So we used to work in... So I worked with this geezer, yeah? So that's what I'm saying. Get the story. <laughs> no, no, no dude, carry on. Right. Please. So, you got, so you guys we charge on a job. I said, yeah, right, I'll have a job. So that's sweet. Come here tomorrow. I'm oh, fucking middle of nowhere. Got a train, surfing the train. Eight in the morning. No money to pay for train. Got off. Sweet. Middle of nowhere. Met the geezer. We're doing a loft extension. The geezer next door's doing a loft extension. I said, sweet, right? So we're looking. He's cut that bit out. Oh, he's, John, he's cut that bit out. So we cut that bit out. Look, looking again. He's cut the middle bit out. He's propped it up. So we propped it up, cut it out. Yeah, yeah. We got drunk. We had fucking three days off. <laughs> We've gone back. We don't know what they've done. We've gone... I think he's cut that bit out. Fucking hand, he's cut that bit out. And he, like, in the end, we got thrown off the job because we didn't, uh, I, I was a labourer, mate. Like, <laughs> I was just fucking fleecing the geezer. <laughs> so he went to me, you know, we both got sacked. So we both got sacked. Didn't get no money. So then he hid in the house. He's fucking homeless, wasn't he? So he hid in the house. And when he went out, he robbed the fucking house. The, the traveller geezer. What? Yeah. So he didn't get paid anyway. But that was different with travellers. Tully, his name was. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing is from Tully, who's around, a, we'll do the spray painting around because there's all big walls around there in, in mm. the Kew Bridge. Yeah? Mm. We're sitting there and we're all sitting around, a, we used to do this every night. We're sitting around a big campfire, smoking weed and all that, feeding the sheep. All right. <laughs> and we're sitting around. And this woman, I can't remember her name, Claire, I can't remember the fucking name was. And she used to come up and a tit she used to be down here, right? Like a bum bag. She wore a belt like a bum bag, right? They were black as cover from soot from the fucking, from cooking the barbecue, yeah? And she'd tits me down there, and she'd come and get a baby, and her tits are black, and she'd put the baby on there, the baby's sucking, I swear that baby must have the best immune system <laughs> known to man. <laughs> and that was about six months she was living there. Really? And they went to me, Would you leave? Why, why'd you get kicked out of your asshole? I said, I think it kicked out. I said, Asthma got homeless, so I said, I'd like to live with him. <laughs> Keeping him company. Did you, 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 you know, pick up Mumsy, did, did she ever worry, like, where the hell you Oh, were? yeah, I just go home and have a bath every couple of days. Yeah. 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 When it didn't smell. Was it part of like, because a few people have queried this before, and a lot of it within Graph Rise, not, not you exclusively, yeah. but it's it's this whole kind of, where are the parents? Where are the families? Do they not worry? Is there, <coughs> it, you oh, know? My mum was going mental. My mum was going mental, ringing up schools, she's off, off and ringing up all the time. Hmm. But if you're going to do it all the time and not going to listen, what the fuck? Like, I was hmm. 12 years old walking up the road with loads of um, Posca pens in my my umbrella mm. and I popped up, pulled, pulled up to my sister I went oh baby all right, look nicked all these didn't think she was going to go back home she went over and fucking grasped up to my mum so yeah. mum was like oh, you beat me up for fucking nicking I was like I need to know again <laughs> so, so that was it that's what I was doing I thought fuck that there's no geese used to work in JD Sports you go there give you your old trainers you give you some spanking new ones put your old trainers in a box and put them back in the cupboard like we had, we had things on lock. Even the fucking McDonald's, the scratch cards. I could sit there, just tap it, and go. Yeah, that's that's worthless. Tap it. That's a that's a burger. Oh, that's fries. I was so good at fucking doing it. I had a, a, a box of crystal nicking over the tills and all that in McDonald's. No, the, the scratch cards. Yeah. So we used to do, we me take Cosies go yeah. I got a fillet of fish. All our whole our whole life was not paying for fucking nothing. So we had the scratch cards from McDonald's. Then the other ones we had the, the scratch cards for um, Pizza Hut. Where you, you get four packs of chocolate and you get free pizza. So we used to end up, because we get so much chocolate, we used to just nip the chocolates and give the whole packs of chocolates to the people and go, Yeah, pizza, mate. And go, Don't want the chocolate. Like, no, I'm sick of that fucking chocolate. <laughs> really, you've had enough of it. Fucking had enough. You have the chocolate, we just want the pizzas. You, um, and it is, um, maybe I've spoken about this on another podcast, but, uh, uh, you know, having had so many of FTC pass through since, a uh, big up, sir, as well, still need you on. Um, I, I, you are a real fucking ringleader. Like, it, I, I know there was a handful of elders within FDC. You were definitely within the category of people that would ad adopt new uh, prospects and uh, yeah, bring them under the wing and teach them the ways of the force. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many people have you? How many people have you brought in to Graf? Fucking rough. 
or speak brought me into graffiti. If it weren't for speak, there'd be no me, there'd be no pies, there'd be no vinos, there'd be no take, there'd be no cos. Be no, yeah, wouldn't have been, none of that would have happened. Not the way it has. Really? Yeah, none of it. Oh, because of speak. If it weren't for speak, doing it, rest, rest in peace, probably. Yeah, rest in peace. If it weren't for him, none of them would have been around. Like, because I wouldn't be fucking doing it. I think my ADHD made me want to do it because everyone told you you're fucking thick, you're stupid, and all that. You think, do you know what? Fuck this, I ain't listening no more. I do what makes me happy. So you stop painting, you go, people go, oh, you've done that, did you? Oh, you like, then you get a boost, you think, you fed up with people telling you you're shit, fuck your stupid cunt. Then someone likes your graffiti and likes what you're doing, you go, oh, then they get a bit of a praise. So you think, oh, I like this praise. Oh. So you, you, you go that way. <laughs> you do <it> more. <coughs> so why are you going to be going that way to get praise? Or you can go back to school and get fucking, oh, you thick bastard, what are you doing sitting in the corner? You yeah, don't but, know what you're saying. But right? a lot of people don't understand the praise actually comes from some, you know, behind the curtain shenanigans mm -hmm. that actually, you know, rival a lot of. Uh, um, Hiring petty crime and more. Like. Yeah, like petty crime. Like I remember, yeah, all the all the time. You know, when I'd done bus driving, when I had to get a job. <laughs> Mum said, "You got to get a fucking job." Bus went past. Four hundred quid on the side. I went, "Fuck me, that's bit of me." Four hundred quid. Fucking bus driving. Piece of piss. I must have worked six in the morning till back in twelve o'clock at night. Right, with a split shift. You're four or five hours off in the morning in the daytime. You don't get paid for it. I thought, what the fuck am I doing this shit for? Yeah. But I need to get a job because she's going to kick me out. I'm fucking homeless. All right. So I stuck at it. So I started graffitiing all the sides of the buses, letting all everyone on to get do their graffiti on the buses. I missed turnings. I've done U-turns in fucking petrol garages, nearly took the petrol pumps out. <laughs> Once I drove a bit early, I thought, fuck, parked out, got fish and chips, ate my fish and chips, bit of music blaring, ate the whole thing, then then drove on. Oh, hurry up, I'm like, mate, I'm, I'm early, mate. So I ate my fish and chips, then drove on. I said, all the people I'm doing, all, all graffiti all up the top of it, all down the bottom of it, they take it back to the garage and say, oh, some kids have, have, have wrecked it, you've got to change it. And I'm like, all right, sweet, I must have done it about 10 times. Mate. See, see, by the way, this is always on. This is, this is Shah all the time. He's always on this. This is just, it does, it's not because the camera's on. Charles like this all the time. It's like full of stories, 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 stories. Mm, isn't it? The, the bus driving was dire. Me, dire. Hands, hands, me, dire. And the Oh, Nick to bus from, I think it was Sutton or... No, no, it was Tol... No, was it? Tolworth or... Anyway, no, it wasn't Tolworth. It was um, Fort and Heath. Fort and Heath bus garage. So I'm Nick one from there. I'm driving around trying to drop everyone and was going partying, all right? I said to Johnny, Johnny, can I do a right down here? He went, yeah, of course you can. So I've done a right. I drove down the bottom. I said, so where am I going now? I said, do a left. I said, Johnny, mate, there's cars. There's cars all the way down, all the way on both sides. Couldn't even turn a fucking matchstick. He's gone, it's a left ear. And I'm half drunk anyway. So I've done a left. This is years, this is years ago. I don't, don't condone any of this now. So I've done a we left. don't condone any of this, by the way. I've, 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 I've hit about four cars. So I've had to reverse up, hit another four cars, reverse into another six cars. I said, fuck, I've done like 12 cars here. I said, mate, I'm getting out. Left it and run off. But it, honestly, I must have done about seven fucking buses. Didn't anybody... Too so, drunk to get a cab, no wait, money, wait, fuck wait, it, let's so, go nick a bus. So it, it, it's all a laugh <laughs> until yeah, it gets yeah. serious. Yeah, crazy. Please like, run me out. Yeah. Really? Yeah, thousand pound fine. Really? Yeah, knocking on the door, show me paper. Is that you? No. Is that you? Is that you? No. I've gone past a fucking lamppost, and I've been smiling. Two gold teeth, fucking smiling at me head. Yeah, crazy. When is it too much? Never. Back then, I didn't give a shit. Back then, I didn't give a fuck. What to the what? A thousand miles an hour and louder. Don't give yeah, a fuck. Didn't give a fuck. Me and like, we used to have fights in the, um, the rugby players come back from Twickenham. Fucking everything. Police officers, fucking terrible. Oh, mate, it's fucking... The big issue sellers in Wimbledon used to get it so hard by a cause and take, it's unbelievable. Really? There was one thing where there was a fight kicking off. I don't know what happened. I'll come to the end of it. And they were arguing. Because Bird was a puffy face because she's on heroin. And he had fucking the shakes because he was on heroin with her as well. And he was arguing about something. And I think take a cause behind one. I think it might be cause. I think it was cause. Kicked him in the back as they were trying to fight. And he went down. And the geezer shattered both his both his um no way his, um, knees. You know, like yeah. on the marble marble floor. Yeah, like he was fucked for months. He was. Yeah, uh -huh. like proper bad. Right? Do it. <sighs> How do you remember all of this? How do you like? See, we're talking about incremental moments of like a a, a very intense twenty four hours per day. Mate, it's, every day was the same. Just go Nick in shoplifting. Then we just go to um go and Nick some. Oh, mate, the, the best scam was this one. We used to get bits of rope, and um. Clothesline, uh, clothes hangers, and go over the wall, jimmy it down, and hook it around a bike frame and pull it over the back. Oh, come on, look at this, look at this guy there. Oh, shit. Hang, <laughs> finger hanging off. You know the glass you used to put on the side of the walls? Yeah. I've got the BMX bike up, <coughs> and I've lost my um, 
balance, and I fall off and I grabbed onto the glass wall. Smashed it. Yeah, and it's just like, ripped my fucking old finger off. Oh my god! So what you just like fishing? You just yeah, get fishing. Then we just get. Bit, it's a bike shop. We used to fix the bikes. We used to get them out one by one, one by one, one and go and fucking ride around them. <laughs> we was a cunt. We're back in them days, mate. Mad. Uh, who came up with these? You know, clever schemes of of just <laughs> earning extra me, money. Me most probably. Really? Yeah. You know when I went to songwriting school in. Um, Chelsea Art College, yeah. the geezer said to me, I've never had a geezer do as many privates as you've done on this course. I had, like a, I had a van, I had a Chinese shop. I did, I had, every weekend I used to give him like 50 quid for, for the vinyl and I used to get like 300 quid off a vinyl printed up and I, just, I used to do all the jobs over the weekend. Really? Yeah. Entrepreneurial, you see? Entrepreneurial. Now I'm just sitting back waiting for this acting to take off. <laughs> and the comedy. And God offered me the money that looks now, I wish I took the money. <laughs> <laughs> does it ever get like if you in the mind of Char like does it ever get does it ever get too much for you do you ever sit there sometimes thinking oh fucking hell I'm no do you know what it is I, when I sit there and don't do nothing I fucking feel lazy in fact if I don't go to the gym for like a day or so I'm like oh I'm fucking awful what are you doing yeah. Yeah. like it's routine you need routine yeah you do need routine well so give us a day uh, in the life of, of Char well at the moment it's let's, all, you know, let's, let's get one from the 90s and then let's get one for now let's the two different polar opposites right, in the morning I should get I back to the 90s start with the 90s I had probation a, a lot then I oh this is a probation I had a probation a lot right so I, was, I went to probation and I, f I found out they were giving out free driving lessons. I thought, fuck this. Prince Charles giving out free driving lessons. Char needs some of them free lessons. <laughs> right? So then they've gone to, you need to start a, you need to start a company up. I said, oh, do I? I said, I'm doing graffiti t-shirts. So I went, yeah, where's your designs? I went, I'll bring them tomorrow and indoors. I went home, I sketched fucking the quickest shit going. I've gone there, give it to him, he goes, what's your business plan? I think I downloaded one. It took me fucking ages to write because back in the day, it went like Google and all that. Mm -hmm. They was, weren't even around. She had to go, percentages and all that shit. I was like, give it to her. She went, oh, yeah, we're gonna have a, a bird's going to come around your house and evaluate you to see if you're eligible for the grant. So I'd gone in, I'm thinking, fucking, I might as well, yeah, might yeah, as well yeah. give it a bash. Yeah, yeah. She's come around, up to the door, I went to the door, I smiled, hey then, baby. She went, I love your gold teeth. I went, sweet. She went, you got the grant. I signed a bit of paper. And then went. So I was like, sweet. So all my driving lessons got paid for and my test, <laughs> Prince's Trust. Wow! See, it's the luck of the draw. Right. Like, I and remember that other one was called um, the Job Centre. Was it called? Uh, was it called the Blue Book? Was it called not Job Centre? Uh, job Seekers Allowance. That's yeah. It, yeah. <coughs> when I was going to college. You could pick. You could say they pay for your train fare. So I used to go in there and pick the fucking furthest place I travelled from. Yeah, I come from there today. And they used to give me like twenty pound a day for travel. They used to pay for all, all my food. I, mean, I was making. I was making dough back then. Mate, how? Oh, well, then they paid you to get materials. This is a smasher, right? The job centre will fucking pay you to get materials. I'm like, ah, what materials? You want all your materials for your course. So I went around, like, everyone in the class went, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? So I ordered all their shit and my shit and sold it to them. I was like, this is crusty, this is. <laughs> Dude, uh, explain to me uh, the 90s chart. What was the day in life waking up in the morning from right. six onwards to the, to six in the morning? What, what... I would get up about nine, ten o'clock-ish because I was fucked from the night before. Yeah. Go up, mostly go probation because I, I felt like I lived in that place. Mm -hmm. We'd do that. Then we'd go... Well, I've been everywhere shoplifting, like fucking Farnborough, fucking miles away, Scotland. I've dressed up in a suit going nicking champagne and the police have pulled us up. And they've gone to us, hello, hi, sir. I went, all right. He went, you're looking for two shoplifters. I said, oh, you can search me if you want. They went, no, no, it's okay, sir. See you later. If they touched us, we had about 20 bottles in the suit. Like, But Johnny, you know I mean? if you've got a front, you can fucking blag it. Yeah. So we've gone there. So a normal day, get up in the morning... Go have a fucking drinking stuff we got left over from the night before. Go Earlsfield, meet everyone down there or Wimbledon. Then we'll all go nicking paint and over the B and Q. But the B and Q in Wimbledon was fucking hot back in the day. I bet it got raped. Yeah, regularly. so we had to we had to go far like Leatherhead. That was a smash. Really? Yeah, it was really good. We had to run from the stations like an hour run. That was a smash in there. Wow. And some silly old bird being a security guard. Stop it! Stop it! Fuck you, out of here. <laughs> Stay down there. Did it get violent? <laughs> nah, get, nah. nah, nah. It has done, yeah. Oh, that fucking wheelhouse. That wheelhouse place. Is, 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 where the fuck is that? Oh, there's a big, massive Indian geezer dragged me up in there. Wheelhouse, nicking paint. Yeah. And I think who got nicked with me. I think maybe Love, Love Pusher got nicked with me that night. Yeah. Or someone did. Someone, oh, along them lines, Love Pusher wreck or something. First time I seen him out, we went nick him and he got nicked. Oh. And his mum fucking hated me. Really? Yeah, char. I was like, oh, mate, another one. Yeah. <laughs> mum's, parents. mum's parents always go, oh, this is funny. I always go, char, don't fucking hang around with me. He's nuts. He fucking causes trouble. Uh, next minute, I see him a couple of years later. They go, 
you should, ha- you should hang around a bit more. I was like, oh, I'm all right now, mate. Yeah, I'm all yeah. right now. Now that I'm a superstar yeah, on TV right. and yeah, all I'm that. Right yeah, now. Funny, that. Yeah. Yeah. Go on then. So, uh, yeah, so the, the raisin, then, then what? <coughs> Food, mate. It's good. Oh, we, just, we were standing outside for months. It was all of us skin, about seven of us. And Cos was jumping up and down on a, on a slab on the floor. I was like, what are you doing? I said, fuck, I must have put a window through. I went, all right, go on in. It was eight o'clock at night and a Sunday, a Saturday or Sunday. Picked the slab up, threw it straight through the window. We all ran through. I've grabbed the fucking, the, the whole rack of puffer jackets, which I thought were puffer jackets, but they weren't. I ran up the road, got Shane's um, 33, I took a whole mannequin with the jacket on and everything, Louis Vuitton, ran up the road with a whole mannequin. You got Cos took a big thing. It was just, it was mayhem. We all ran up the back way to Clapham, got on the train, and the train was stalling. Like we got halfway through that three stops, and the train was stalling. I could think, it's coming on top, yeah, mate. It's, it's coming on top. On top. top so I grabbed my stuff, pulled the doors, jumped off, plugged my stuff up, and fucked off. Got to wear my shit. Got to wear my shit, baby. Wow. Yeah. Mental, it was mental back then. Then what? So what else happened? So so okay. So the raising, and then and then what? Then what? Then we, we used to go out to it... fucking squat parties. Really? That phone what? number, that fucking zone ad. Zone had a number. Go, go on and ring out. Tell you like ten to twelve where to go, mate. They were mental parties. Let's talk about the squat parties because these are these are folklore. Mate, talk to me. Give me when some. Was, give me this is what I found out of the folk party. Right? Remember that white geezer I used to live with, yeah. Yeah. Uh, go on. Tully, yeah, the one yeah. I said to you earlier. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. He would go to be coming around to the squat party. I reclaimed the streets. It was in fucking Trafalgar Square. Right. And he goes, "Yeah, mate, have a bit of this." I went, "What are they?" He said, "Trips." I went, fucking shit. A little bit of paper. I went, what are they? Right. Two hours later, what was that shit? Give me. Mm-hmm. They ain't done nothing. Another two. I said, there's shit, mate. So said, well, you got to keep taking them until you see stuff. I said, mate, there's shit. <laughs> so I've done six. <laughs> six micro dots, yeah. They must have come up all at once. I'm dancing on the bus shelter, screaming, who's got the Mars bars throwing bricks at the police in fucking Trafalgar Square? Following some geezer covered, covered in orange paint, the smallest cock known to man, <laughs> staggering around following him all night. I was on my he- out of my head for three days, tripping out of my head. Don't know where I was, mate. Fucking, they were the strongest thing ever. Really? Yeah. All I remember was fucking two days of screaming who's got the Mars bars, following his fucking white geese around with dreadlocks. Mate, it's mental. <laughs> uh, more Scott Party stories, tell me more. Fucking, mate, the one when, we, when we've done it, when we had, what's that, Cornetto, is it Cornetto? Yeah, yeah. That, that was, we've done the first one in there. So we're all out of our heads, sitting down, sitting down, sitting down in, the, in the cinema with no cinema screen on, we're just playing drum and bass all out of our heads, mate. <coughs> Them Scott Parties are mental. But graffiti writers do what they do best. They wreck fucking everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They turn up and out and go, ah, no writers, mate. But we used to have the underground sounds. We used to help set up their stuff. I was even a bouncer once at once at, really? at, at one venue, yeah. Really? So I was collecting the money on the door. <laughs> Sitting there collecting the money on the door. Collecting the money on the door. And the geezer come back and goes, how busy been? So now, mate, no one's come through. <laughs> <laughs> so the money I got, this is me back in the day. This I'm laughing. There's an extra pound there. Like now, I'm nothing like that. Mm-hmm. But we got the money. I was like, what the fuck? I've got like 100 quid here. What the fuck? I'm giving it to him. We, what do you want to do, zone? He went, let's get on it, mate. It's coming in. So we just put a book here. So we're getting out of our nuts with the gear. We charge the people for getting into the club. Mate, it meant When's it, It's mad to think that you guys lived in such a moment where where that you're not even thinking about the next day. You don't even think about the next day. Mate, n- no, no, I didn't think about nothing. All we had is thieving, robbery, shit on our mind. I said, every time. If it weren't nicking the cameras to take them back to get um, vouchers and then cashing in with your mates, I've got boots vouchers, half price, because anything you can cash. If you weren't doing that all day, mate, I just made loads of money doing that. Is that, does, that does that occupation overshadow the graph? Or is nah. it all to aid? Yeah, yes, aid. So you do is go nicking and then, then get that stuff to pay for the food you want or the draw and then go painting. Do you think you like taught people the the, the, the code? Oh, no, that? I think I turned loads of people into alcoholics because really? we used to just get drunk. Really? Yeah, and I was a good, really good thief back then. <laughs> really good. Professional. I could I could have took it. I could have been like, you, it's like he's a catch me if you can. Was that like he's a... Uh, yeah, I know. You yeah. Know. We've had a Tom Hanks on. Yeah. 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 None <laughs> of that. Uh, they're all stunts performed by Shaw. Yeah. Honestly, it was, like, it was like that. Robin Half Harrods fucking running in there, grabbing him. We used to have a machine that used to take the bells off a of fucking off of clothes. You know, like it was yeah. deep. Yeah. I remember once the two was a really good thief, Cinch. Every time we used to go out, Cinch, it was even if the, even the shop was fucking red hot, he'd managed to get something. I'd be in there going, talk to the geezer, <coughs> and I'd see Cinch come up behind him in the fucking package in the Indian shop. And get a drink and then go back below and then come back out. Oh yeah, mate. I'm like, 
How the fuck did he not see you? He was honestly, he, was, he had more bollocks than anything. He did. Dude, you like the you were like the head of operations. I mean, I know. Listen, don't get me wrong. I wasn't there, so I I, I appreciate that these stories are slightly tinged and focused on you. But um, because it, you know, it, there's no I in team. But yeah. but dude, like you were completely whip cracking certain scenarios playing out. At oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all plan everything. We done with plan like pies, or even if we was doing the yards. Me, I'm a bit like, let's fucking just go in there, fuck it. He's only walked around once. Like, Pies is like, no, child, chill out. We'll sit here for another half hour with the shittiest pair of bolt cutters known to man. Might as well bring a fucking knife and, knife and fork, fucking cut the thing. I was like, mate, it's never going to work. So what were you expecting to do? What, just run through the fence? <laughs> I've met loads of people at the fences, cutting fences before. Really? In Acton, yeah. Uh, Ake and them lot. The good old days. I ain't seen Ake for years, to be fair. Uh... But it was just mental back then, like, no one cared. No one cared about money. No one done because you could just nick everything you wanted anyway. Yeah. So, like, so how old have you been at that time? Because we are talking in retrospect. How, how old have you been at that time? <laughs> Forty three. No, no, no. <laughs> for, for, I was forty. I was thirteen. About thirteen when I started. Yeah. Fifteen when I started proper nicking. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I was still painting. But I was painting still, but I thought I was good and I was shit. Dog shit. Really? Yeah, dog shit. Yeah. Look at now. I was like, mate, what was that? What was it like when you did your first your first train? What was that? How was that? How did, how did it feel? When you did no, it, you Malden. just No, like... Morden. Oh, my God. Morden was the first... I didn't do the first train. I've done the first... Uh, Morden or Clapham Junction, because I actually, oh. I actually can't fucking remember. Really? Yeah. I can't remember that. That's funny. I can't remember my first one. Because I've done, it, I've done like, Morden 12 times in one week. I used to do Clapham Junction 12 times in one week. Like, I can't remember. I remember going on my own, walking across through the, through the car, so on my own, painting, painting Clapham Junction on my own on a regular. I had earphones in. It's how much I did give a shit. I said earphones in, fucking Wu-Tang playing. Uh, the, 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 what album was it? Um... Well, like 36 Chambers or something. No, the, the one where they all done it all together and it had a W on it. Yeah. It's called the W, isn't it? Oh, um, Forever. We, we forever. Yeah, yeah, Woo Forever, yeah. Mm. Mate, I, had my ear, I didn't give a shit about it. I had my earphones in. I was painting a box. I didn't look left or right once. Until I was standing back. I was in a zone painting and I didn't stop painting. Oh, no one was there. No one was there. Too. No, but I think if chains going past, I just didn't give a fuck. But did, the thing is, I mean, you know, you, you're force of nature. Like, did, the people, you must have been confronted, but people just were not coming no, near you. We used to paint in the daytime at uh, 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 Wands of Town train. And people just didn't want to fuck with you. No, just we'd, we'd start as soon as the train went. We'd start. So when the train comes again, we'd stop because in like five minutes before they they start coming on the platform because they know the times, don't they? Locals. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No fear. <laughs> Real, really, no fear. No, no fear whatsoever. It was for Reds back then. Nothing ever, ever got under your skin and you're thinking, fuck. Only apart from that when I thought we killed some geezer. That was a, I was like, oh, we are fucked. Really? I was looking in the paper for like three weeks after thinking, he's definitely dead. Well, what happened there? Can we talk about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were walking down the road having a big argument. Some geezer and his missus trying to show off. Everyone's fighting. Everyone's starting to argue. Big, they're a big crew. We're a big crew. And then next minute, someone jumped on his head and he was shaking like that for ages. And I'm like, oh, mate, we got to do a runner. He's dead, mate. He, like, he's, he's head, he just couldn't stop shaking. I was like, mate. And I actually thought, we are fucked. I was, really? I was looking going, and when I didn't hear anything, I was like, maybe not. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, shit. Maybe just only, only his, um, it was bruised, didn't it? His ego. Man, that's Nothing crazy. else. That's so why you should never give give it a big in front of your missus, mate, because it always comes, it always comes on unstuck, unstuck, mate. Yeah, just yeah. go, cheers, mate. You want to kick off on with missus? Yeah, see you later. Yeah, oh, I might mate. just like to add at this point, you know, it it never pays to be the superhero no. because you don't know the means and ways of why Not people... Not now, the way for shit is, mate. It's only cameras, mate. I don't, I, I don't trust anyone, mate. I don't mm. trust any government, nothing. Don't give a shit. You actually said on one of your podcasts, and I remember this very vividly, you said, uh, even to this day, you can't have people behind your back. Oh, no, no. Because yeah. Just because of strict paranoia, just because that's... Yeah, so just, when I sit in the pub, I always sit with my back to the wall or where I can see the entrance. It's just, just the way it is, isn't it? Like, Which should be, to, should be a, a deed anyway, generally. But, yeah, we used, but, to fight all, we used to fight all the time. Really? All the time. The mental, mental, just crazy. The rugby players fighting their whole train full. Got Nick for that. Went jail for that, as it goes. Really? How many times have you been in jail? For, twice, three times. Three times. Ish. Mm. But it was quick ones. It went like sentence. Like I was on bail, and then I didn't get bail, and then I was in jail till Monday, and I was out, and then I was sentenced. You know what I'm like? Mm. The graffiti, then I was sentenced for the fighting. Yeah. What what uh, gets often forgot about in these conversations is style, technique, artistic flair. Uh, Char, I mean, man, like I saw the more recent piece you've done with Shining Quest, big up Shining Quest. No um, outline, that was just freestyle. Yeah, I know. That's, that's yeah. where I was coming yeah. from. So, yeah. dude, like, you. you the, the, the skill set that you have, I mean, this doesn't come through, you know, uh, you know, random raising and just, you know, nah, these... no, just years. Of, honestly, I was so dedicated to graffiti, it's unbelievable. It took my life over. 
I blew out enough fit birds to go painting. Really? Loads. Come come around my house. I'm like, fuck that. I'm going painting. Really? Even now, I'm thinking, do you know what I mean? But it's, sometimes I should have not gone painting. Really? Well, you could have changed your life around, didn't it? But for yeah. the worst, because we nah. were painting. But I went painting, mate. It was better. But back in the day, nothing, nothing took me out of the way of painting. No, we're going painting. What? We're going painting. Mm. Yeah. Where did you learn uh, the craft? Because obviously we're talking about the 90s now. There's a whole different set of techniques, uh, different sorts of paint. Shining Quest really showed me what to get and all that. Then I just used to nick every single paint and see what happened. Oh. Really? Then we went out nicking with Crave, meaning. <laughs> I think I said the story before. When we was going, raising up in and being Q's in. Where was it? In Essex. Mm. And the, the um, security guard, I said, he's, he's on us, mate. So I put the paint back, walked out, he grabbed us, nothing in there. So what are you talking about? Got nicked. Didn't nick us for nothing because we had nothing in there. Yeah. But we went to the car and we had fucking 300 tins of paint in the back car. 300? 300 tins of paint and, uh, and bottles of, uh, was it, Jack Daniels and Coke. Wow. Then we went to go to the Cypress Hill concert that night. Mm. So when he got nicked, I said no comment, no comment. It's like I normally do. He said no comment. But I said, let's go to a concert. So they let me out no, with my four tins of fucking spray paint bags, mm -hmm. my two bottles of fucking drink. So I've got all trained from fucking miles away, all the way back to Clapham, dropped my spray paint off, picked the Southern Comfort it was. So I picked the Southern Comfort up, jumped back on the train, sitting on the train, drinking Southern Comfort straight, straight, thinking, Crave and them lot are going to meet me there soon. Because yeah, yeah. I'm up there, Essex, I'm fucking, I've got to go back here and then I've got to go back there. No one turned up. I don't remember anything at a fucking concert because I drank a whole bottle of Southern Comfort straight. All I remember is jumping around and standing on some geezer's shoes. He went, hey, mate, my my shoes. I went, mate, I can't even see your shoes. And that's it. Next minute, I was back indoors. I was <laughs> so <fucked>. you remember? <laughs> fucked. Man, I, you know, I often think about this with the podcast, you know, because uh, the, the, the times have changed and people grow up and things like that. Um, and I don't dare say there's some people out there that, that you know, adhere to the ongoing commitment of graph and the, the purest uh, nature of it, which uh, thumbs up. But... Um, you could never have done a podcast back in the day with the likes of uh, the aforementioned yourself, oh. balloon. Like, can you imagine? Imagine coming around a pod track. It's like, it's, it's not happening. I mean, it's Mate. a very different time now. And and these co these conversations it still feel so vivid a long way away. I can't even, um, I can't even, I, I can't even imagine what it was Mate, like. It was just all opportunist. Like you saying that, we had to just go to squat parties and we used to go back to his girl's house. He used to go to squat parties with us. And all them lot, I'd go to sleep. All them lot would be up cracking glow sticks, putting it in the back garden, doing fucking garden hopping, trying to nick all the stuff out of people's garages and knowing what fucking what, what um, gardens they could pop back in with, 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 with the glow, glow sticks. Yeah. That is deep. <coughs> and in the morning, we're all out uploading. In the morning, we're loading up the van or the, the, her car to get out. And all we could see up the road is about 20 police cars going in to interview the people for what's happened. Oh, with and the glow the, sticks. And we're loading the shit in the car. I'm like, mate, what is going on? Squat parties, mate. No one gives a fuck. Wow. I guess they weren't just squat parties. I guess they were house parties or whatever you could get. No, no, was, but we went back to the to squat parties after to some birds house. I mean, but they were down nuts. They were fucking hell. Did anything, was there any time where you're just like, no, no, we can't. Uh, we've got more appreciation and respect for this environment. We're not going to do no, that here. None of us have ever done no house robberies or nothing like that. We just do like, like even me and Neat and them lot and Cinch nicked her. I think it's Nick Cinch. We've done an office block and just nicked loads of laptops, and um, old computers. Back in the day, the fucking ones with the... The big bits at the back. Yeah, of. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we nick loads of them. Like we did stuff like that, we nick, but not wouldn't go that. I, I, can't, I don't do that. People's houses and all that. How much reckon you made in a, in, a, in a week if, with all of these, you know, shenanigans and and you know, purchasing. Mate, I used to go in, in next year, nick like seven jackets. Them jackets are like twenty quid each, yeah, mm. in one day. I sell a bit of it for a draw, a bit of money. Then we had we had the the f disposable cameras. And they were like a tenner each when you, with the vouchers. Mm. Mate, we had loads of them. Up and up, once, yeah. Up. Another time I need to get a job. I, re I reckon we made about sometimes 500 quid, maybe a thousand pounds. It depends, up and up and off. Like, mm. But I remember Rogue walked past my house in a suit. I said, where are you going? I was blazing the suit out. I said, where are you going? You get a job. She get a job. She said, yeah, come with me. I said, you get I said fuck this and I'm getting a job. <laughs> so, because listen, back then... Always sitting there going, oh, bored, what are you doing? Fuck it, I'm going to go do that. Fuck it, I'll go do that. That's how <laughs> fucking bored he was, yeah? So what are you doing? He's in a suit. He's going, what are you doing? Get a job. What have you got to get a job for? Mom's still got to get a job. I said, fuck it, I'll get a job. Got upstairs, got my suit on, got across the road, sat down in a fucking in a meeting in the office, yeah? <laughs> He's gone, yeah, I'll drive a Lamborghini. I've had a Lamborghini for a house in Dubai, house here, yeah. I'm going, fine. What have I got to do? I can't tell you what you've got to do. You come back here tomorrow. We'll kit you up, all the stuff you've got to do. Are you not up for it? Yeah, we're all up for it. Fucking bang up for it, mate. Right? He's done all that. He's gone, give us a whole spiel. 
Well, I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. I said, sweet, mum. Got indoors and mum, fucking give Rogue a hug. Thanks, mate. I've got a fucking job. So, so my mum, mum, got a job, mate. Things are looking up. She said, fuck me, about time you got a job. I went, oh, yeah. I can, do, I can do you right, mum, and all that. She's yeah. all right. Granny Annex. Oh, she's all eyes, right. eyes are watering up and all that. Don't, I've got to be up early in the morning, mum. She goes, oh, good. I'm glad you got a job. Sweet. So up in the morning, she's made me toast and breakfast. All right. Bosh. I'm out. I'll meet everyone else. We've gone to the choose. I think we've come up here. <coughs> so come all up here. He goes, yes, so now. You don't want to know what, how I've got this Lamborghini and a, and a Porsche in, on the on the drive at my house. I said, "Go on, how you do?" He said, right, "Come here." So I was huddled around. He went, "All right, today we're selling window cleaner and the watches." I went, <laughs> <laughs> "Selling what, mate? Window cleaner and watches?" And we got these. Well, watch me do my stuff and tea towels. I went. But he bought us all the travel card, travel cards. Yes, I thought, you know, what? I've got a travel card. Eh? Let's try and let's try and see what else I can get. Give it three hours. I said, let's <laughs> sit. Let's sit down. I went. Let's see what I can get out of him. He's gone in. He goes, watch this. He's gone. In, he's gone. Hello, mate. Look, we got some tea towels here. And I said, get the fuck out of my shop. He said, no, no. Listen, mate. I've got some tea towels. Get the fuck out. He went. That didn't go too well, did it? I went. No, nah, mate, I didn't go too well. I went in three shops like that. I went, fuck this. <laughs> Took the thing, nicked a couple of tea towels, and went home. That was that's <laughs> what jobs interviews were like back then. <laughs> Parents proud. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. What I could you? have been someone, Mum. <laughs> well, you are now. Yeah, get in there, get in there. All right. um, let's get into let's get into some uh, track size stories. Me getting electrocuted. That was a good one. Fuck me, that hurt. Did it? Yeah, it did that. Yeah. You always see is yellow, and your hands bent back to there. I'll tell you the whole story. I think I said it before. I'll tell you the whole story again. Do you have this? <laughs> All right, so I'm sitting down in Brixton. Cussing everyone, cussing everyone's mums, fucking saying mum. I just used to take the piss out of everyone all the time because we used to be smoking weed and I never used to smoke it. Yeah. So they used to be, I used to be really quick fire, take the piss, fuck you then, you know, like ripping the shit out of him, cussing them all day long. I used to hate it. They went, oh, try mine around. I went, mm, what this one? And I touched it and I stuck to the fucking thing. And all I saw was yellow, and all I heard was yellow, fucking vibration in my head. My hands burned back, burned back to there. Or well, back to your wrists. Back, back to there, looks like yellow. I couldn't get the fuck it. I was like, mate, I went, just pushed my leg, and it shot me from here to the wall. You know? Really? Yeah. I hit the wall, and you know what everyone said? I went, oh, fuck, sparks, everything. They went, ah, good, that'll shut him up, the cunt. <laughs> That's what they said. So I was like, ah. I went, shut up, you <laughs> fucking idiot. It's, like, it's all bad now, because they know I was taking a piss out of it. I deserved it, but yeah. Don't try this at home. Do not go on the tracks. It's not fun. It's not clever. This is a pure, a, a, an example of a, of, of a man that um, has lived it and, and would not advocate doing it any, at any point. And my heart was... Like, I was sitting in the back of the van with Parry, yeah? I think the server was driving. So I, was, I got home. Mum been alright, what's up with your hands? Honestly, there's blisters from there to there. Like, well, across the um, main yeah, um, so where, like, the electric currents come out, yeah? Yeah. She was up there, it's me, a hot, hot cup of coffee, Mum. Hot cup of coffee? Hot cup of... She went, get a bed. I was thinking, what I should have done, really, is gone to the hospital. But I went home because I didn't want to get in trouble. Do you know what I'm saying? What, uh, any long-term damage for that? No, I just... I said, Look just, at you, do you have rubber soles on or something? No, the, no the doctor said I'm a bright spark. <laughs> nah, they fucking did that. But we used to do stupid shit all the time. Throw scaffolding poles across all the lines on the railway lines, blow them up in the air. Like, really? stupid shit. Rip windows out of the... Throw the windows out of the windows that you ripped off. Yeah, doors. Ugh. Just aggression. Just mental, yeah. Why? Fuck it, we... Li- Just bored. What we used to say is, fuck it, we live here. Like, that's what it used to be. Me, Vods. Uh, about, uh, um, vids. Pies. We TA once the alcoholics. We battered Putney Station so bad. All we kept on writing is we live here. I don't even know if we got, if we got it from a movie. Again, we up to fuck off. We live here. That's from the squat party. Because guys, we could get out of the room. Shut up. We live here, <laughs> and no one would ever push us out. We're off for a fucking heads. Never get sold. Never get sold. I've had a few fucking jobs though trying to get out of graffiti. To be fair, really? Yeah, fucking know. Tell us about that. I said, get a job. Mum said, I've got to get a job. And I was like, fuck, I've got to get a job. She said, you've got to get a fucking job, mate. I said, I'm doing all right. I like, had a lot of money. I had to I just give my mum cash. Yeah. No, she said, get a job. Just wasn't having it. Just having she it. didn't know where the money was coming from. <coughs> yeah, so I worked at my body books. I said, so my body books and tights on a stool. I was really good on a stool. All right, girls, roll up, roll up, roll up. Yeah, that. all the gift, innit? The gab. Gift of the gab. Yeah. Right? So then I've done that. Did I that? Then I worked on the on stools, pulling out the stools for the flower men. Then I worked in Greg's. They didn't pay me, they don't pay me in cream cakes. I need to nuff shit out of the back. Right, then I worked in a, a Bonacera's in Clapham. 
I think about two days in there, they were just because they weren't Italian, they were like slave drivers. Get the get the get the mozzarella. I was like, fucking hell, screaming at me here, mate. I just got up. Yeah, so I had to give I had to give that one a miss. What else to do? Butcher baker. There's no there's no filter on Chara. The yeah. butcher, the butcher job was shit. The fucking I need to get a job by the butcher. Uh, so he put it in a freezer. And every time he's going to the freezer to put shit in the freezer, it's be a pig's head, his eyes used to follow me. I know you're young, you're like, fuck, he, these fucking pigs looking at me that fucking. And he used to kind of get the pig's head and pretend he was fucking. I was like, well, Dad, you've got to give me another job, mate. You're crazy, there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like, what's his name? An old uh, politician, what's his name? Yeah, mate, I, honestly, I, I, I had good jobs, mate. Good jobs. But the best job was the sign writing jobs. Sign writing? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Pen art. Did you always have that? the artistic flair, then? Yeah, always been a piss artist. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I was going to give up drinking. I thought, fuck it, I'm not a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> No, but back in the day. Honestly, I wish we could go back there. Like the, the amount of Do people. You? We, yeah, the amount of people we've lost as well. Like lame. Like rest in peace. Like all the fallen yeah. people. Like loads. loads rest mi- in peace, Hill. That's the, Hill. Yeah, wow. there's millions of people we know. They're all going on the train tracks like we've done. All done silly things. Haven't looked left. Haven't looked right. And suddenly they're not here no more. Yeah. And we all take that for granted. We Which all is do. why we don't advocate it. On yeah, that's why we always take it for granted. Do you know what I mean? I've done some silly fucking things in the past. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And now I've got kids. You have to think about that a bit more. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Can like, you imagine I'm, if your kids do it? Can you imagine your kids going through the life? Or was this all... If they'd done what I'd done? Yeah. Fuck, man. Would it be hypocritical for you to not allow that? Yeah, do what I do. Don't, don't do what yeah. I do. Yeah. You know I mean? Like all those amazing personal trainers out there that, you know... That all the fat kids. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they, and they, they show you how to exercise and be fit, but they're not... Fit have, you, have you noticed, though, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's son, who lives with him, is is more ripped than the one who lives with mum? Have you noticed that? No, I didn't, but no, that's the... I was observant. I'd see, say, Google that. Only men can breed... Only, can, only men can breed men. I don't mean make a men out of men. Women no, no. can't do that. That's a, that's subjective, so please comment below. <laughs> Do not condone it. Oh, oh, Dave. Dave. Dave used to be a crossdresser. Do you, Dave? <laughs> He's going to get a snip. We're going we're to do the GoFundMe, yeah? Because he <laughs> wants to get the... Go fund me. Go fuck you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go snip me. Yeah, go snip. I've been cut off. You have now. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell me more stories. I mean, there was, this was this was part of the remit of the show. Is that you? You felt like uh, uh, you were you were you were you were held back from some of the more you know more glorifying moments of uh, of your uh, uh, career. Mate, we've got so many stories. You know, they all blend into one, don't they? Mm. Like, yeah, I love them. Like the, the, Never have a pint with him. Get will turn into five, and we, you know, you end up. You know, because I say them, and you think I have to say earlier. I'm like, oh, mate, I've got so many. Like even when Rick was um, showing us his new nicking technique, he's got two pairs of jeans and one with a zip in there. Mm. So he put the bottles in the in the first one and zip up the other one, so it looked like he's having new. Nice. The Indian geezer spotted it, beat the shit out of him. He was fighting in the shop for about half an hour. Really? Yeah. Jadi called the police. Going kind of mental. Fucking bottles everywhere. Really? Left his trainers in there. Have you ever met your match uh, so far as you know? I don't know. For instance, you know, you you you, you get yourself into a situation where you know you, it could be a fucking gang of yardies there or something, and you're just like, oh my god, we are really on top, and it ain't from a it ain't from a uh, uh, a a police place or a security place. We are on top because this is more gang related than we no, ever. No, no, but back in the day, this is it. the madder you go, the better it is. Really? Because I remember I went to Devon. Some geezer knocked on the door. I was standing. He went. Can you get your boyfriend? He, look, he looks like he can have a fight. The village wants to have a fight with him. Or so I was like... What, well, you? With you? Yes, I don't even know it was over. I don't, couldn't even fucking tell you. And I was, loved the fight. And I went, yeah, all right, let me get my shoes on. And so I've gone down on my own. Don't know why, because I think a relatives lived there or some shit. I can't remember properly. Put my shoes on. Walk down the road. I've turned a corner. There's about fucking six or seven cars full up of people, me on my own, in Devon. And some geezer, some big geezer wants to have a fight with me. Really? So I thought, fuck, I can't back down now. So I just grabbed the back of my fucking with my spine and ran towards them and was saying I'm going to fucking cut you open you cunts and they all shit themselves jumped in the car and I started headbutting the cars and they drove off if I didn't run off I would have been fucked it would have been yeah, me yeah, but yeah, with yeah. nothing on me I didn't have nothing on me but sometimes you've got to front it Whoa. when in doubt front it <laughs> headbutting the car windows yeah because like, come on girl, come on and all that yeah. yeah you know like when you lose your plot not yeah. years ago uh-huh. big cuddly teddy bear now ain't I Dave ain't I Dave sorry thank you How's that, how's that adapt to your newfound lifestyle? I mean, you know, we're talking radio present, we're talking actor, c- comedian, DJ, um, uh, well, uh, MC, you know. MC, you're a little bit lively. Yeah. Charm a little bit mean, light on the pub like a fruit machine. 
<laughs> I mean, you, you, you are a, a street culturalist. Street, like, street so does this, does this help? Does this help? And does, is, does, is this a, a learning practice? Well, from when I started. Well, I, doing what you're doing to what you're doing now. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, of course it is. You, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you used to live different... Um, what's it called? Um, personalities, didn't you? Like masking yeah. this to mask that to mask that. Well, different heads for yeah, different yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you do, yeah. Anything where you really thought to yourself, ah, oh, no, this is a... a Particularly sophisticated head I need to put on today. This is a serious thing, you know. Whether it's love, whether it's buying a house, whether it's a, a oh yeah, you do it all the time. I just really? fit into positions. Like, yeah. I'm a, yeah, I'm very like a chameleon. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. deceitful chameleon of the nineties. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't turn back the clock if I could. Would you? I mean? You wouldn't. No, no. You wouldn't at all. But I, I would just like a few people who'd fallen soldiers. I like, left too early. They shouldn't have been gone. Like yeah, I agree. There's, there's loads of people. Do you think, fuck me, he's gone? Oh, Do you want to run, run, run them up? Run names. Run some of them names. Even Devise and all them like back in the day. Mm-hmm. Fucking. Who's the one who begins with S? Um, psych. 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 Like, all them like, from back in the day. But it seems to be a bit more lately you hear like, people dying, but not like if you're in graph forever. Do you think that's else. age? Do you think that's age or is it. I don't know about the football. What do you reckon about the football players collapsing with cold in their chest? That never happened until two years ago. Yeah. But that's for another podcast, people. <laughs> We're not getting this one shut down with the old corona. Yeah, yeah, the algorithm's going crazy yeah, right now. We're finding that one. You know, I was on blast for followers. three years. Well, I had 15,000 people following me and suddenly down to about 100, so. You stay where you are, I'm all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I did not say she was. We could, we could bring this up. Actually, you don't mind bringing this up, yeah. do you? Um, you know, during the height of uh, all those crazy times of lockdown and stuff, yeah. you were very vocal. Of like, I don't give a fuck. Um, I was doing tr- tr- yeah, and just videos, sti- videos were you saying, doing crazy, yeah. behaving, talking p- t- in particular ways about people <laughs> and things that would have got you. Yes, yeah, but people are scared, aren't they? People mm-hmm. are scared of it. Oh, but not say that. Fuck them. Don't give a shit, mate. Yeah. Fuck, I don't care. Yeah. You yeah. don't care, do no, you? No, I don't care. But I'll do, that's what girl messed me the other day. I want to get you cancelled for what you said. I'm like, go fucking get you cancelled. Work for myself. Get yourself cancelled. No fear. Don't give a, Mate, I've gone from nothing to something a couple of times. It doesn't bother me, mate. Mm. Like, whatever they're doing, they ain't going to stop what I'm doing. So. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Been in 13 movies now. Mm. Got a red carpet on the 19th. In with Dave. Yeah, mate. In with Dave. Yeah, mate. Yeah, <laughs> mate. Well, we're going to go and see some break dancing, aren't we? We're yeah, we are. I broke. I used to be a break dancer, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Broke my back in two places, my elbow, my ankles. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm quite shifty on the decks. <laughs> I might give you. Oh, you could do some beatboxing for me. They call him Mr. Sheen because he cleans the floor for everybody before he stays. Start break dancing. <laughs> exactly. <isn't it>? Yeah. <laughs> right, we're going to be out of here because we've got loads more stories in the future. But right now, we're going to leave it right there because we're going to go and do some fun things. Yes. Stay blessed. My oh, brother, thank you so much. Oh, I never heard it. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Killer Podcast, out like him, was out of fashion, you know it do, yeah? Here every week for all your uh, audio, visual entertainment. Of course, don't get more beautiful than Shah. Um, sharing is caring, tell a friend to tell a friend, all right? Don't talk to anyone we wouldn't, because it's rude, all right? Crime don't pay, but neither do they. Shah. Take your time, but hurry up, yeah? <laughs> Stay lucky, people. Peace.